What is up everybody? This is your host Supersite and in this video I'm going to be showing you the best strategy for the game Seaport. Now for those of you who don't know, this is a cool wee game and it is a, it reminds me a wee bit of Boom Beach, the concept, you know, you're on an island, you know, you're not building up defense but you're building up your fleet and it's it's a really cool game and you need the different resources to upgrade and so on. So I'm going to be showing you the best strategy, long-term strategy to level up the quickest and to unlock everything as fast as possible. Now there's quite a few th well there's a few things that are really really helpful to know now first of all we've got our wee ships here which are the ones that collect our fish now we always want to keep them going non-stop if possible and as you can see we've got these lily pads which we always want to be tapping sometimes they're barrels then we have it like right here so I've for example we've collected that so we get all those logs and we have upgraded the quarry right there now you can upgrade stuff like so so as you can see that's how much it costs right there so you press upgrade so you want to be upgrading things as much as possible Ideally, you want to be upgrading the production machine things if possible. So, for example, we're going to upgrade that like so. Now, you also want to keep all of the things that aren't busy, the production things such as like the sawmill and the quarry, busy as much as possible. So, for example, currently we, oh, there we go, and we even leveled up to level 25. That's quite cool. 500 more sailors and a bit like that. So, that is really awesome. So, and now we have the capacity to upgrade this here again, which is, it's like the town hall, you know, like the main thing in the base which is like, you know, Clash of Clans and that or the headquarters or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, anyway, we want to upgrade the other things before we go ahead and just continually upgrade that straight up to the top. You know, it's like a premature base. So for example, we are going to upgrade the... Wait, we can't upgrade the quarry. We're going to keep the quarry going because we don't have much rock. And ideally, as soon as we get enough fish, we'll get these buildings here, the sawmills, back in action. So we'll tap that, tap that, and there's all the fish in there. Now another thing... So the, one of the things that you want to be doing, as well as always upgrading, is so we'll collect these here, which is pretty cool, and collect that, is you want to be cycling through this uh, captain's task list if possible so then that gives you rewards and and see these here considered barrels and so then eventually that will then max that and you get rewards for that which is kind of cool now with your ships you want to have always definitely always want to have the maximum and you want to be sending them out to like as far like you want to get it depends like if you're playing actively some of these nice close ones although it's not a big return since it only takes five minutes it can actually turn out quite efficient now you also want to always and then we'll just tap that and upgrade that. You always want to be going to the daily shipwrecks or Chinese wreck or whatever it is, because they certainly like are very helpful. Now if we come here, we want to use the right ship for the right job. So for example, the poorer ships we want to send to a close one. So for example, here its capacity isn't fast. So we want to be using that on a close one. So for example, you we'll use that one on that one right there. Now for example, we've got this one here and you want to keep it notice of how much space that and the capacity they have. So for example, this veteran's quite good. And so now currently we've got an event on which is like the Wall of China event. I I don't know exactly, but it's got the Great Wall of China and so you want to, you know, complete these tasks if possible, the event tasks, because they give good return, so it will set sail like so, and we'll, we'll go ahead and we will complete these tasks off, which it takes a while, but it, it gives you a good reward, so as you can see, that one there will be complete, and so then we need to wait for those two to get there. Now, we might send this one off to here to get, go get that. So, you, the idea is you want to keep your ships going as much as possible. Always, always, always keep those ships moving constantly. Those ships are a massive source of resources, so you want to keep them getting, like, so if you're playing actively, yeah, you know, the, sh the closer locations are often quite beneficial. And as you can see, there we go, we've collected that one, which gives us a reward. And then eventually that will, and then shortly that will reappear. Now, I've also got the achievements here, so we can collect these, which is always very helpful right so there we go well it helps us level up and get plenty of coins and so we want to keep the resources and when you're low on certain resources you want to be going for those resources so currently I'm low on rock so I want I mean stone so I want to be going stone whereas I'm not really particularly interested in getting wood or coins at the moment because I have plenty of them now as you can see right here here are some buildings that we've unlocked since so we'll go ahead and we'll buy that right there which looks really cool now another thing you want to keep in mind is that you don't have to it's not like a Build. It's not like in Clash Clans or Boom Beach where you can only do one building at a time. You can simu sim simultaneously upgrade a whole heap at once. So there we go. We can buy that building. We can also buy a warehouse in here. So we got to find space here. It's, it's similar where you can like rotate buildings, but you're not defending a base per se. So there we go. We'll use those up. And as you can see, we're very low on rock right now. And so we have got a few in there. Now, another thing to keep in mind is sometimes the warehouse gets full. So mine is getting very close to being full. Uh, here we go. This has appeared again. So that 
will be our next task to complete them. Now, if it gets full, then it's just, it, it wastes your commodities. And so you want to send them off and deliver them to the market. So if we go world map right here and then we click on the market town, it's got a whole heap of stuff right here of where we can deliver now. And so the, and there we go, we've got different things that we can do. So we, for example, might do this and then we can go and get rock if we want. So that's one, but we ideally want to send more than one if possible. So then, and there we've got we've got Alexander, which is an actual player, the first real player I've actually ever seen. So it's kind of cool that we've got a base right there. But see, as you can see, three ships and look at all that, that right so now we can get these going so you want to keep them going as I said before and now we can send off these ships like we want to so for example I'm just looking around at all the ship places I can go so we'll set sail to complete this one off so there we go now this one here has an ability you know it's got this special captain guy which really is very very helpful so he helps like with that marking thing he, he does it he like completes things a lot quicker so for example we'll send that there we go and we'll get all that rock right there so we'll send that off boom like so and then we've got this one here which we can also send off which we're going to send to this player right here well not player but the, the task thing and so yeah keeping those in cycle is really important and upgrading things especially production things is well you want to upgrade everything but production things in particular are really important it's a fairly new game it just came out last year in 2017 and it does have uh, boom beach vibes I find it's a little bit like boom beach uh, but it's unique in its own way so I quite like that about it and as you can see there's a message, uh, but it's, it's see these are all the different update things, which is quite cool. And so I've recently started playing it, and so I thought I'd just do an overall strategy. So the, the concept is you want to keep all production methods going as quick as possible, as like as often as possible, and keep upgrading those ones so then you can level up. Now another thing to keep in mind when buying ships, it, it's a it's a real balancing act in a sense because the higher the ship, the better the value. And so then it's like, do I wait for longer to get the higher value? you ones or do I just get the real quick ones now and also when you get ships I do recommend upgrading them See, they've got some event ships here, but never mind those. And then we've got some new ships right here. And it's like, whoa, it's insane. Level 256. That is absolutely insane. I can't imagine how someone's got up there in just a few months. But if we go to my ships, these are my ships here. But if we go to ships right here, right? So there we go. These are all the ships we've got. But notice that the higher they get, which is like kind of, it's obvious, the higher they get, the better the value. So for example, right here, we have like, if we look at them and don't, I wouldn't recommend, unless you, you know, a big diamond purchaser buying the diamond ones I would yeah anyway that like the I'm looking at the main ones that the majority of players can buy which are the ones that require resources so you want to get the best value for them so for example now that I've unlocked up to here I'd rather save up and get one of the more high value ones than buy just these really not great ones back here because they they don't have as much capacity those ones are diamond ones but yeah some of them aren't as got as much capacity so for example even if we just compare this Peter von Danzig with the Hulk Zigma you know, it, it just ignore the price. The price doesn't matter because if you use it efficiently, you'll easily return the, the amount of resources you costed. But, you know, as you can see, this one here has, you know, the 40, you know, the 2040 versus the 3040. And then over here, we've got the, the five crates. And this one over here, we've got the six crates. And so it, not only does it have a, high, a larger crew, but it also does more crates. And so that will get you a lot more value. So ideally, now that I've unlocked the Hulk Zygmung, I do not want to buy the Peter Von Danzig. You just want to buy the highest ones possible. Now, of course, there is a point where you will just end up buying some of them along the way. But you want to min minimize it. You want to try and get the highest ones possible. So, for example, and then you have to sort of compare them. Since it's, you know, it's got those two green stars, it's it's quite valuable, that one. But, you know, if you look at the two different... And so, and you, yeah, you want to keep getting those really high ones. If we look at these two here, well, like, those two uh, aren't the best comparison. But, for example, some of them are much, much more. They contain more. They have a far bigger crew. As you can see, there are trade-offs. So, for example, the La Pense, or whatever that one's called, it has a hundred crew, which is huge, but it's only got, you know, the two crates, which is not big. And then, for example, we look at the one next to it, you know, it's got, you know, 30 crew isn't huge, but it has got nine crates, which is significantly higher. So it is working out which one is better, you know, because certain locations, you know, require more crew. So, of course, you do need a balance of, you know, ones that can go really far, but you also need ones that can, you ideally want the ones that, you know, have lots of crates. So, you know, you can, you can get those crates moving along. And so ideally you want to wait as long as possible before you get the next ship. So you want to unlock as many as possible 
Because then you, you know you get the value. Because otherwise you just have to buy and upgrade all these ships along the way. That when you get high, you're never going to have to use. So you want to get the maximum use out of your ship. So you want to buy a really high one, you know, and then have it as long as possible. You know, I guess it's a bit like computers. You know, you want to buy, you know, if you're going to buy a computer, you know, of course it's, it's different for everyone. But if you're going to buy a computer, you want to buy, you know, sort of an up-to-date one that's going to last a long time. Not like a, like, of course there's different situations. But you don't really want to get a really cheap one, you know, that's going to go out of date. For example, uh, my dad got me a Windows 7 computer in, back in 2011, and it, it was sort of fairly updated at, as of that time, you know, there was Windows 8 around, but that Windows 7 has lasted me all the way till 2018 and beyond, and so, you know, you want to get the ones that you're going to get the most value of, you know, you don't want to get the one that's just, you know, you don't want to buy the Windows XP, you don't want to buy the Windows 95, you know, you want to get the, the latest ones if possible, and so although they do cost more, it's certainly I would recommend waiting and saving up for them because if you don't then you'll just end up with these ones that you're just going to use for a short amount of time and then you're going to you're going to need the better one anyway so ideally it's it's sort of this balancing act of being patient and waiting to unlock them but at the same time you uh, you do have to buy necessary ships in order to you know speed up process so as you can see right now i am very very low on rock but i have plenty of wood and fish at the moment and so these ones constantly just keep going eventually they'll fill up hence the best time to come on is when you know sort of these have been filled up which you can sort of calculate when uh, so that there is them and then we for example if we go out here oh we've got another achievement which is cool so event we'll collect that one there 4000 if we check out the map right here now the map here shows where your ships are heading and how long it will take and so as you can see with the, quite a wee while my ships but they will eventually be back and we will have completed those two the daily ones which I do recommend going so you want to keep those resources balanced so for example right now there's not a big point in me going out and getting a whole heap of wood I want to get the rock you also so the main main idea to keep in mind is always 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 keep those ships going non-stop keep those fish the fishing boats going non-stop always tap the lily pads when they come cycle through this uh, this captain's task list as quick as possible and also keep all your production machines going as often as possible to produce you resources that way and just keep upgrading when you can and especially the main dock that is a very very important important one to upgrade because then getting another ship is huge so for example when I get nine 900 rock that will definitely be a great one because the maximum fleet size is crucial those those ships really really boost you and as you can see you do level up very quickly like uh, like I just leveled up this like video and now look at me I'm almost um, over halfway to leveling up to level 26 so yeah that and then we've got some land eventually that will upgrade but that's not super important right now so yeah, that is the general overview of the, the general strategy, which is to keep those ships going, keep them getting the best value. You want to get the best value out of the ships. You want to get the ship, which is the best value. And then when you're sending them to locations, you want to get the most out of them. So I recommend getting the daily ones. And yeah, that is basically it for this video. You know, I thought I'd just do a quick video on this game. I quite like it. You know, I've been playing it a bit, not heaps, but it is a really fun game, which is a little bit like Boom Beach, but unique in its own way. So yeah, this has been your host, Supersite. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content. This has been your host, Supersite. And remember to make coins and lumber and rocks and this metal thing faster than honeybees make honey.